She's retiring on Friday. Uh, I don't believe it. I expect we'll be getting an interview request uh, within weeks. You can guess who Jay Carney's talking about there, and you can bet that he's right about Barbara Walters, who said farewell this week after nearly 40 years at ABC News, including some very special moments right here at This Week. Good morning, and welcome to This Week. Barbara's always been a special treat on This Week, bringing her signature questions. Why can't he be like other presidents and say or be able to enforce his staff to shut up? Which is the candidate that President Clinton worries about the most? Big interviews, too, like this one with Hillary Clinton about those first White House rumblings more than 10 years ago. <laughs> I know you're not going to tell me whether or not you'll throw your hat in the ring. Absolutely, I'd say no. What about 2008? She says she has no intentions or plans of running. Whatever her feelings are for the future, she's making friends on both sides. Toe-to-toe -to -toe with, with Vladimir Putin. Putin. There are reports that nuclear materials have been stolen or even bought on the black market by terrorists. Is that the case? I don't really believe this is true. Did you come away convinced that Putin is committed to the idea of an alliance with the United States? Even though he says that the Cold War has been over for years and he promises friendship and support, there is a great deal of concern in this country. She was here for the heartbreaks, too, remembering Princess Diana. You knew yeah. her, but millions around the world didn't know her, but were fascinated by her. Now, why was that? This combination of the romance, the loneliness, the beauty, the pathos, it was the stuff that, that romances could be made of. And JFK Jr. You knew him, Barbara. Do you think he would have been interested in... in in a public life. So he didn't seem inclined in, in that area. But in a sense, he still had not found the, the life's career. In 38 years at ABC News, Barbara has seen it all, done it all, 24-7, even on Sundays. Barbara, welcome. Thank you. We don't see enough of you here. <laughs> I think people have seen enough of me this week. <laughs> not a chance, Barbara. Come back any time. I'm Barbara Walters for ABC News. Thank you for sharing your Sunday with us. Thank you, Barbara. And now we honor our fellow Americans who serve and sacrifice. This week, the Pentagon released the names of two soldiers killed in Afghanistan. That's all for us today. Thanks for sharing part of your Sunday with us. Check out World News with David Muir tonight, and I'll see you tomorrow on GMA.